Behind that car, the girl said, jumping into the back seat of the car. Are you playing spies? The driver asked, smiling. Yes, something like that, Lisa answered with a smile, although everything was sad in her soul. She didn't want to keep an eye on her own boyfriend, especially since he would soon become the father of her child, but his behavior left her no choice. Alex had recently become somewhat withdrawn and taciturn. Something was clearly bothering him, but he was afraid to confess to his girlfriend. Your beloved has parked at the flower stall. The taxi driver's voice pulled the girl out of her thoughts. Wow, he's carrying a whole bouquet. He was amazed. The girl's heart sank with resentment and pain. So it's still different. Now you both will receive from me. The girl decided to herself, and pulling herself together, in a calm voice, told the taxi driver to continue to follow Alex's car. In her head, Lisa scrolled through hundreds of scenarios, imagining how she would catch her loved one cheating, how she would look him in the eyes, catching him in deception. But none of the options for the development of events invented by the girl turned out to be correct. Alex's SUV parked at the city cemetery. Anything but this, Lisa couldn't imagine. Her boyfriend, taking flowers, went to someone's grave. It turns out that she knows so little about her boyfriend, with whom she planned to connect her entire future life. Having slipped a few bills to the taxi driver, Lisa asked him to wait for her, to which he readily agreed. Apparently, he himself was interested in finding out how this story would end. Alex walked up to the grave of a girl slightly older than Lisa and laid flowers. After standing for a while, he said something and, turning around, walked towards the exit, almost seeing Lisa. The girl cursed herself for what she was doing now, but there was no other way out. She needed to find out what the one she calls her beloved was hiding from her. The SUV again disappeared around the bend when Lisa and the taxi driver began to pursue it. It turns out that he wasn't bringing flowers for his mistress? Asked the taxi driver, looking at Lisa in the rearview mirror. It turns out that way, she agreed, still lost in her own thoughts. She was even more surprised when her boyfriend's car drove up to the orphanage, and after a while, a female teacher came out holding a girl of about five years old by the hand. She rushed to Alex, and he, picking her up in his arms, began to circle her and kiss her, pressing her to him. Now, the picture in Lisa's head didn't add up at all. There was no mistress, but there was a little girl who for some reason lived in an orphanage. Who is she? And why did Alex never talk about her? and this woman in the cemetery. All these questions haunted Lisa. Finally, having met her boyfriend in the evening, she told him everything she knew and admitted that she had been following him. Alex listened to her with his head down. After her questions, he sat silently for some time, thinking about what had happened, and then suddenly said, You know, this is probably even better. I've been meaning to tell you everything for a long time now. He smiled sadly. That girl in the cemetery is Natasha. We met six years ago. I really liked her. Alex thoughtfully looked somewhere into the void, as if immersing himself in that very time. And then she disappeared somewhere. At these words, he turned his gaze to Lisa, which made her feel uneasy. I looked for her, called, but everything was useless. The phone was unreachable, and in the cafe where she worked, they only told me that her grandmother in some village became very ill, and she, leaving everything, rushed there. What kind of village this was, I never managed to find out. And then I met you. Alex smiled. I met and fell in love like a boy. In fact, I never even suspected that it was possible to love like that. At these words, the guy started to cry. It was clear that he was not lying. And now he is frank with her as never before. How then did I know 
that Natasha was not the only one who ran away from me to this mysterious village. Smiling, he seemed to address his question to Lisa. Not alone? And with whom? The girl was amazed. And with the same girl you saw near the orphanage, Alex explained, looking somewhere at the floor. Her name is Sasha, and she is my daughter. Can you imagine? At these words, Alex laughed quietly, at the risk of crying. And I myself only recently learned about this, and my daughter has been living in an orphanage all this time. What happened to Natasha? Why did she die? Sitting down next to him, Lisa put her hand on his shoulder, trying to somehow support her boyfriend. I was told that she died during childbirth. He wiped his eyes again, probably to hold back the tears. And only recently, my friend Natashkina told me everything. And I didn't even suspect anything. Then, turning to Lisa, he said, Now you know everything, dear. At these words, he smiled bitterly. I love you so much, more than life. But I can't leave my daughter there either. If you are ready to accept both of us, then I will be happy. Lisa was dumbfounded by this story. She could have expected anything, but the fact that her beloved had a daughter, and even in an orphanage, even her feminine fantasy could not have foreseen. You are an idiot. Rubbing the guy's hair, she suddenly said, I thought that you had a mistress, but you were afraid to tell me about the child. Smiling and hugging her boyfriend, she said, How can I give up a child when I myself will soon become a mother? Alex understood everything and hugged his girlfriend tightly, hiding in her hair from all the troubles in the world. How happy I am, he whispered in Lisa's ear. You are my greatest blessing. He said and kissed the future mother of his children. Soon Alex and Lisa got married. Now they have become mom and dad to two children at once. The first thing they did was take Sasha from the orphanage, and soon they had a son, Vanya. It seems that happiness has settled in their large and noisy family. Lisa was able to accept and love Sasha as her own daughter, and she reciprocated her feelings. Still, how important it is to be able to hear and understand your loved one. If Lisa had not been able to understand her boyfriend then, they would not have had all this now. Dear viewers, if you liked this video, then like and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye!